Vietnam is an agricultural country. It was hardly destroyed during the wars and frequently suffers from natural disasters. Therefore, Vietnamese people are facing so many difficulties, especially the ones in mountainous and coastal areas, ethnic minority groups. Vietnam is on the innovation progress, industrialization and modernization to reach the goals of wealthy people, strong country, just and civilized society. To actualize these goals, Vietnam mainly bases on its internal force, simultaneously takes advantages of external resources, non-governmental organization included. NGOs have supported Vietnam in many fields, eliminating hunger and reducing poverty, developing agriculture, crop industry, healthcare service, education, environmental protection, emergency relief. In comparison with other S, the total value of NGOs S is still not too much, but it is very meaningful. NGOs S were given to the poorest at the hardest moments to solve their social and economic difficulties, which the state budgets cannot approach. In Taiwan province, to date, there are more than 70 NGOs who are rewarded the operation certificates. 35 ones of them are still in Belize. In 2016, the dispersed value of NGOs project in Taiwan reached nearly 1,900,000 USD. NGOs S will speed up the progress of social economic development of Taiwan province. Hi everyone, welcome to our program of Inside Thái Nguyen. And uh, in recent years, Vietnam has made a remarkable development in all fields of economy and society. Uh, and non-governmental organizations, NGOs, has contributed much in this achievement of Vietnam. And today I'm very happy to have uh, the attention of Ms. Perrin Coge from School on the Boat from France. Uh, first of all, thank you for joining our program today. And uh, the first question for you, would you please to introduce your organization? Yes, sure. So first of all, thank you very much for giving me this attention. Uh, so I'm the president of School on the Boat. This NGO is working for about six years now uh, in Hanoi. Uh, our aim is to give access to public school to unprivileged kids uh, in Hanoi, and especially uh, around the Red River some uh, families living on floating houses and around the Fuxa area. Um, yeah, that's our main activity. And um, uh, what do you have done in Vietnam in general, in, in Taiwan in particular? In so in Vietnam for now we are working only in Hanoi. Okay. Uh, and so we are now uh, taking care of 28 kids, uh, helping them um, to access to school and to understand school. Uh, helping the families to have communication with the school um, and also being uh, close to them to know about their needs and to help them in the best way we can. Then about Tang Yen, um, so we have been uh, called for uh, helping on consultation and uh, on giving some advice about uh, how to um, promote like the social work in terms of education uh, in the province and we would be very happy in the next uh, three years to give our uh, opinion and to help on implementation of these programs. Now recently your organization and our Taiwan Department of Foreign Affairs has signed a memorandum of understanding. Okay, could you please to share about this content and its meaning? So. Yeah, we just signed it today, like some five minutes ago. Uh, so the content is about uh, helping Taiwan province um, on the, the scholarship uh, and the schooling project. Uh, Taiwan wants to implement some program um, to help unprivileged kids, some kids in Taiwan who maybe hardly access school uh, or have some other social problems. So we would be here to help Tang Yen and to give our advice and opinion uh, on the way they could help them. Uh, during the operation progress in Vietnam and in Taiwan, what are the difficulties or what are the advantages and disadvantages you have faced 
and do you have any uh, uh, proposals or petitions to make the the operation more effective and smoother? I think that one of the hardest uh, things that we have to face it was the lack of social workers. Okay. And I'm very happy to see that in Vietnam and I saw it in the program of Tang Yen, uh, that uh, the next programs will uh, welcome some more social workers. Uh, thanks to these people and thanks to pre-disciplinary pre teams, uh, such as psychologists, uh, some uh, professional in development and all of that, um, I'm sure that the help would be more efficient. Uh, social worker would help um, the province and everyone to understand about the background of the kids who could have problems and, um, and help uh, in meaningful way, uh, assessing and analyzing the real needs of uh, these people and uh, finding some real adapted uh, solution with the, the people. And maybe the, this social worker, that's my hope and my opinion, um, would help also to give a voice to these people and to give them a place for communication, give them a place for, uh, for expressing their needs and, and what they think and how they can uh, implement together all of that. Oh, okay, thank you for your sharing. And one more question for you. In recent years, the global economic uh, recession has affected to all fields of our life. So does it affect the uh, fun of your organization and the whole operation of your organization? Sure. Um, so actually, we are more working on, on private funds, so mm, okay. we didn't feel about it. But it's more like uh, since few years we see more and more people coming from the countryside to Hanoi. Okay. So that is a, a problem that Vietnam is facing. Um, the lack of uh, interest of people for uh, the provinces and people want to come to the, the capital. That's normal. I mean, we have the same all over the world, same problems. Uh, yes. And now the question is how to face uh, uh, these people coming, how to welcome them uh, as a citizen in Hanoi, uh, as other people, and to give them the same chance as the other to develop Hanoi together, yeah. Um, the last question for you. Vietnam has become a large middle income country, so does effect affect to the amount of money you give to Vietnam? No. 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 Okay. No. No, it didn't change so much, actually. Uh, we work on very close programs, so uh, ours Private donors would know the kids they will help, and that's so that's not working. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your sharing. Uh, once more time, thank you for joining our program today. Goodbye, and see you again.